We know the hard work and sacrifice they go through, serving our community and keeping us safe. Let's honor another First Responder Friday. Brought to you by our friends from Crown Buick GMC on 99.5 QYK. Well, it is First Responder Friday, and we get to talk to Cheryl today, who is going to be talking about her son, Robert, who is a firefighter EMT. Now, how long has he been doing this, and where does he uh, serve our community, Cheryl? He's been doing it around 12 years now, and he's serving in Bradenton for the West Manatee Fire Rescue. That's great. As a mom, as you look back, what were kind of some of the uh, the indicators you thought, okay, he's definitely going to go into this line of work? Well, he always was someone to pitch in and help somebody, even friends or anybody that needed anything whatsoever. And just a caring heart, a servant's heart, I guess. Um, He didn't really realize my own father, who had passed away, was a career firefighter. Mm. learned that later on. So maybe it was just in the genes, who knows. But um, just a, a, a way to serve, and he continues to be that kind of person. I love that. And uh, you wrote here that he won the Phoenix Award a few years ago um, as part of a team saving a cardiac arrest patient. Tell us about that. Right. And I heard from his wife that there was another one recently. I just didn't realize it. But, um, yeah, team effort. And it was really nice that time for the Phoenix because they actually had the patient who they revived come to the department for that award. So it was very meaningful. Meaningful and probably very moving. And uh, for people who don't know what the Phoenix Award is, why don't you tell us about that? It's awarded to the um, first responders who save a patient. I think it's mainly cardiac arrest savings. Hmm. that revive them, and um, then then that's awarded. That's awesome. So, Cheryl, I got a question for you. How would you describe your son when he's not on the job, just as your son? Well, when he's not on the job, um, I had that little video of the battalion chief who had talked about him for his um, Firefighter of the Year award. He described it perfectly because when he's not on the job, he's always someone there that his friends call him or if somebody needs him to come in early or can you work for me because my wife's sick it's that or and then he's going above and beyond if somebody needs some help a neighbor or whatever there he's the one that they call it's just it's nice to hear from adult friends of mine say you know your son turned out great he's like some parents always wish their kids would be good like this when they're grown well you know whose fault that is right cheryl that's your fault that he turned out to be a great guy. That's awesome. So hats off to you, Cheryl. Oh, thank you. Well, Cheryl, thank here's what we got. You. Our friends at Crown Buick GMC want to give uh, Robert a $100 Visa gift card. He could do anything he wants with it, uh, maybe That's a family awesome. night or whatever. Just a small way for us to say thank you. And I also want to say thank you to you for reaching out mm-hmm. to us so we can honor Rob. Oh, thank you so much. That's very sweet. It's the least we can do. We appreciate you so much, Cheryl. Hang on for us so we can get y'all taken care of on that. Hey, listen, we want you to nominate someone for First Responder Friday, or you can do Military Monday as well. It just takes a few minutes so we can spotlight that special person in your life. Just go to 99.5QIK.com.